Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, we are going to discuss so one C technical interview question. So, what is that? See, this is the code snippet, and here it is in this. So, we are using the while loop, and we know so how loops are executing, right? Actually, the loops execute a block of statements as long as the condition is true. So, that is actually the loop control statement, and here it is in this code. So we are initializing i value with 1 and here it is a while as so we are writing condition and followed by the condition we are writing semicolon this is very very important so what is this meaning means this while loop executes with empty block as long as the condition is true as so it means what we are rewriting this one like this internally internally this code will be written like this int i equals to 1 while i plus plus is less than or equals to 12 here it is a semicolon meaning means right here it is this while loop executes as long as this condition is a true with empty block with means what instead of a semicolon instead of semicolon you can write like this this is the one the single line and next followed by the block is there na? this is general empty block in a c here we are printing printf i value percentage d that i we are printing this is the program and how this program executes how this program executes see for example it's a post increment value so first i value will be substituted 1 and the value become 2 it's condition true come inside empty block executes again it will repeat it will substitute to value become 3 like that it will go suppose if it is a 10 it will substitute 10 value become 11 condition true it will substitute 11 value become 12 condition true it will substitute 12 value become 13 and here look at this 12 is less than or equals to 12 condition true and again it will substitute 13 but the value become 14 but here it is whenever 13 substituted 13 is less than or equals to 12 the condition has failed so this while loop will be terminated next the control come out of that and now it will enter into that empty block empty block and here it is whenever we are looking for i value the local variable i is not there so it is looking for method level nothing but function level i variable as i value is there 14 so here it will print the value is 14 so output of this program is a 14 is so, a very very important it will execute i value only one time only one time it will execute so we are thinking that uh, this is the block of this while loop so every time it will print i no here it is a semicolon is there at the end so this while loop executes as long as the condition is true right so once the condition has failed the control come out and what is the final i value that will be printed here so this is how this code snippet execute okay so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narish channel thank you